Dave and I have both done the show several times before, um, taking multiple uh, roles. Um, and the first time that I did the show, but not the first time David did it, was in 2008 in the original production, uh, myself playing Marius and David playing Andras. And we shared a room in this very building that was called the Queen's then, now the Sundime, um, for a year. And we had an awful lot of fun. And we felt like that cast was formative for both of us yeah, and definitely. very important to both of us. Yeah. Um, but you joined the show before that. I had done two years three years before that, if you know what I mean, where I played uh, Kofrak and Bamatawa, and I understudied Andras and the Bishop. I played Andras in the 25th anniversary tour, the first um, iteration of this new production in 2009, and when you came to see it, because David came oh, yeah. very early to see the tour, yeah. I remember you saying to me afterwards, like, <laughs> Maybe I should play Mario seeing as you're playing Andras, <laughs> and we'll give that a go. <laughs> and, that, and I think we should have at the time. Yeah. We're a bit old and hairy now. Definitely. <laughs> Sadly. I've done the original production and I've done the uh, current production and I did the concert. And what you learn when you do different versions of this show is that it doesn't really matter that much to the impact of the work. Like, the show on the page is clearly enough, as was proved by the concert, because it was genuinely inspiring and impactful and everyone loved it. It was fun to do, it felt uh, fulfilling to do, which you wouldn't think it would, just standing uh, without moving. And, um, so it doesn't really make a difference where you're going to stand. There are beautiful elements to this production. We'd, that I, I mean, we'd have that with the original production when you'd have technical problems. <laughs> the plan B, yeah. Yeah, the thing called plan B, which was if the barricade broke or the revolve stopped working or something, you physically couldn't do the show you'd have this thing called Plan B, which was essentially a concert version, so you'd just stand there and sing it. And they were, I did three of them over the years, I think, three or four, and they were always magical nights. But that like, is where they got the idea for what? the concert. Right. Because the first version <coughs> of the concert was the O2, the 25th anniversary concert at the O2. And I remember when we were rehearsing for that, because I was playing um, the pivotal role of uh, Factory Worker 3. Huge, huge role. Huge. And, uh, I remember when we were rehearsing it, they were talking about, well, it's a bit like a plan B, because everyone who was in that cast had done the production at some point. So everyone knew what a plan B was, so it was a good sort of kicking off point for it. I've never done this production before, and not only have I never done this production before, I've done the old production a lot. So it was, it was very interesting. Like, like people would say to me, oh, you, know, you know the role, it's the same as I said, no, it's not the same. I know the words, but I don't know where to stand. It was just weird having to shift my brain out of something that I know so well, that has really sort of been the backbone of my adult life, really, this show. And something that I, you know, I could have done the old version, I could have probably done Korferak at the drop of a hat, having not done it for 14 years or something because I just knew everything so well. So it was very, yeah, it was, it was very interesting. And what's nice, and we've discussed this probably more than we should have over the last week, two weeks, is that we're having, we're rediscovering why we like being on stage together. Yeah. Because we're just kind of really poking each other dramatically. Yes, yeah. it's great, it's it, really fun. It does genuinely feel like we never really stopped acting together in this building. It's really weird. Yeah. It does feel like there's been no like having to sort of, oh yeah, well, I remember. It's just right from day one. Well, maybe, maybe it's because that, that production was so formative for both of us that we both learned to weigh together, so it's not surprising that we think Yeah, that's, true. that's right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we played Wii Golf a lot, um, oh, sort of dating it, saying we played Wii. Wii. Yeah. Do we play Wii now? I don't think people play Wii. Guitar Heroes. Guitar play, Heroes still a thing? I don't know. No? Um, do I? But we. <laughs> We, were, we would get ready very, very quickly, because <laughs> the first scene is convicts, so the, uh, 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 that scene, <clears throat> and we'd get, we'd get our rags on, we'd mud up, and yeah. then we'd have like 25 minutes of the half an hour to, <laughs> to play Guitar Hero yeah. before we got called down. <laughs> was that the cast of Hacky Sack as well? Would have been, yeah. That was Earl, wasn't it? Earl Carpenter started that. Did he? I thought Drew did. Or was it Drew? The Drew Sarge? It was Drew Sarge, yeah. Yeah, just go down at, and play hacky sack until they told us off. I'd love to see your bishop. 
was very young. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was 23. Now, though. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 Should we just do a show that's just <laughs> us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. Oh, the book's oh, the here! Book, the book, the, the book's, book's here. here! Gosh! Oh! How, how did you get there? Oh! Um, this is my dressing room, I have the book. Yeah, I didn't need to bring my copy in because you've got one here. Um.